Good evening, it is um, nearly 8pm on Monday the 6th of January and it is time for today in my boo journal. So how are you? Are you alright? Are you good? I hope so. So, I have spent the I've had a great day. I've spent the day making little policy envelopes and um, like I made a video which should have come up about an hour or so ago. Um, I made like really little dinky ones. I didn't show these ones on the video. I just had a go at making like little little ones and the strike ones I put on the video. But yeah, loads of fun. They'll all get used, no doubt. I was looking at um, seeing if I could make one that would fit a journaling card but I can't not out of a six by six piece of paper and so I would have to use like an eight by six which you know that would be ideal I just don't happen to have any so there we go anyway I digress I posted up the card of the day yesterday and then right yesterday uh, because I did have chips did I craft no, I don't think I did yesterday. I did some homework. I took my meds and I did my night care routine. Back to school tomorrow, so we should be able to get back on the homework routine thing. What are you doing up? I'm trying to say hi. It's eight o'clock. Say hi, then go to bed, please. Hi. Hi. Right, kiss. Go on, off you go. I'm kissing for YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. See? You assume too much. Good night. Good morning. I didn't do yesterday's sleep. Go to bed. Okay, so yesterday's sleep was 12.53 to, um, um, yeah, I didn't get up until quite late. And I didn't get up until gone 10, but I was awake for a good hour at about 3. I was awake for a little bit at 6 and a little bit at 7. So that would be why. And I woke up so sore. I am trying to reach 15,000 every day because then I know that I am getting the required amount of steps for um, the 2020 miles in 2020. I run this group where each year we, as individuals, not as a group, because, you know, that would just be silly um we try to step the same amount of miles as the year number so like last year it was 2019 miles in 2019 i've been doing this is my third year doing it and the year before i was also doing it through um somebody else was running the route and um i haven't managed it yet <laughs> so i'm desperately trying to stay on top of it so that i do succeed this year i'm adamant i will succeed Okay, so <laughs> that is all done. So let's do that. Right, okay. So we will go back to there. I have not yet posted to Instagram. So today I did my, my day face cream. I'm going to have a look at the challenges in a minute. I've had one can exactly. I have not had any booze, but I have had chips again. This is not good. I'm hoping once Daryl's back at school, I'll be able to go out and get a shop done. Uh, did I craft? Yes, I made lots of envelopes. Um, and get some decent shopping done. And um, start eating a bit better. I haven't had my meds just remembered so I'm going to mark that I've done it and then I'm going to go get them because I need to take them so hang on a second I'll be right back I know why I forgot them 
They set an alarm to remind me to take them, but I had Darren in the bath at the time, and obviously I couldn't leave him to come downstairs to get them to take them. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I didn't take them. Okay, so we need a card. Green Witch Tarot today. So that is number 228. Oh, hey, the star. The star is a good card. As you can see, a lot of the star is based in water. She's in water, she is pouring water. Um, as you may know from previous cards that I've pulled, water is linked to emotions. Now, she is not wasting anything. She's sat in a pool and she is pouring pool water from one receptacle to another. Nothing is going to waste. So she's, she's, she's extremely hopeful. Do you know what I mean? And, and the star is all about um, opportunities. Opportunities. You, you have an opportunity, reach out with both hands and grab it. Okay, so it's a very, very positive card. This is optimism and, and all of the good feelings. Not, not any of the negativity, not, not pessimism, but optimism and hopeful and all of these feelings. So allow all of these good feelings to drive you because they're driving you in the right direction. Put optimism, hopeful, good opportunities, you're moving in the right direction. Somebody um, in one of the groups I'm in said that they um, put their tarot cards in their main journal. And I sort of went, hmm. I could do that. Maybe sort of just block off a bit, you know, write it in a different colour and then write around it with my fountain pen. You know, do like I do write it in the gel pen and then write around it with my fountain pen or something. I don't know. Um, it's been an okay day. Pretty much same just today. Same with pain, really. Not really done anything, so it's not like it can, you know, be bad. Okay, so we did that. So let's do my sleep for last night. Oh, poor night, which I, I put down to not being comfortable. You know, when you suffer from chronic pain and you seize up when you when you when you're not moving as much like I do, sleep is not a release from it. In fact, sleep makes it that much worse because you don't ever feel better from it and it doesn't ever feel nice. It just, it keeps going and going and going, you know. Looking forward to tomorrow because I am going to get out with my um, audiobook for a walk and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Love Daryl dearly, don't get me wrong, I really, really do, but I am looking forward to him spending a little bit of time at school. It's amazing what sticking black lines around it would do for the neatness. <laughs> okay, so today I did the loo and some laundry. Oh, and I've done some cleaning up in here. I need to go and clean the TV. I'll do that in a sec. And I was like, yes, I actually got over there and attacked the calyx a little bit. I've moved a few things around that box there. That was like stuffed full of junk journal stuff. But I've actually like tidied it and organized it. And then that box there, I neatened up all my papers. So I can actually find everything when I'm looking for it. Okay, so I called Shampoos and she has not called me back. So I'm going to mark that as partly done because if she doesn't come back tomorrow, I'm going to go in there. Shit, April's on in a minute. April's on in a minute. Watched Doctor Who, so that can now move to next Sunday. Also, did my envelope video today. Did you see it? What did you think? I know most of you saw it when I did it as a live. But, um, yeah. Okay, so let's jump through today. I'm trying to, I hate folded sticky notes. <laughs> right, ew. It's like 
can't, I, I, I've just been looking at some paper pads on eBay, Stamperia ones, and they're gorgeous. The trouble is, now that I've realised that, I mean, junk journaling, I love it, but it doesn't really seem to be me. This seems to be more me, and the only thing I seem to use the papers for is to make pockets. Well, I don't put enough in here, you know? like tomorrow I think when I go out tomorrow I might take a little um, box like this to collect like little bits of flowers and things and then maybe I could laminate those and put those in my journal I mean that's something I could do but I don't when I'm when I'm journaling I can't think of junk journal type things to do and I see some I've just been watching this absolutely stunning stunning journal and if you look for a huge cosmic astronomy dream journal by June's Journals, okay? Um, I, if I remember, I will try and link it down below. This journal is amazing. But I don't journal that way, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't junk journal not to put it in order absolutely freaks me out I mean I love watching 49 Dragonflies Barbara but she doesn't put it in order and I'm there going but you that can't go there you can't put 16 before 7 you just can't do it and it, it ah <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know and then I'm sitting there and I'm thinking well why make a pocket or I can just write it down on the page does that make sense and maybe I should make more pockets and use... I've got a whole stock of journaling cards down here. You know? Um, a whole load of, like, Project Life type cards. But then I'm like... What can I write on this? Not, what can I write on these? I don't get it. I mean, I get, like, the ones like you and me and, and I can write something adorable on there. Like, you know, Daryl and I went out and we did so, 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 so. But some of them, I just... I can't see what I would write on them. Especially like these ones, but enjoy the journey. Well, that's nice, but there's, there's not a lot of room there, is there? And I don't like that they've all got lines on them. It seems like nearly every single one I've picked up has got lines of some kind on it. Okay, example. All right. I've actually sorted these, which is why one of my hand is staying in them. There's lines on it. Well, I'd like to stick it through my typewriter if I'm going to. I could probably get a lot more on there if I could stick it on my typewriter in my typewriter and journal that way I suppose but yeah so I'm sort of I'm 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 lost for ways that I could use things like this because it seems daft to write it on a card and create a pocket when I can just write it on the bloody sheet of paper you know and I'm sitting there and I've got three Stamperia pads in my eBay box that I really want because they're really pretty but it will cost me £33 if I buy all three of them and I've got paper pads over there that I, have, I haven't touched I've barely touched because I don't know how to use them that sounds really dumb doesn't it that sounds so fucking dumb now I'm saying that but that's exactly how it is I really do not know what to do with them and I watch these junk journal videos and I go, oh, I've never thought of doing that. I want to see th this journal she's showing. It's a journal she's made and she's put in her Etsy shop. And it's up for over £200. £230-something she wants for it. And I tell you what, it's worth it. Some of the some of the stuff in there, she's used music pages. She's used um, an entire, if not more than one, Stamperia pad. You only get ten double sheets in that. Um, she's used papers that you have to print from Digital Curio, who's an amazing digital uh, scrapbook resource. And um, it's a beautiful book. It's huge. It's, you know, about 12 inches high, this book. It's fantastic. And it's beautiful to look at. I, w I would be too frightened to use it. I would be too scared of ruining it. But I want to see somebody use it because I want to see how can I incorporate that style of junk and scrapbooking into my journal other than just using envelopes and pockets 
I don't want to have a journal full of pockets where I could keep pulling things out because I'm frightened if I drop it, I'll lose them all. <laughs> anyway, right. Okay, so where are we? We're on the sixth. So there's cheers. Your past is your strength. Fireworks and marbles. So I never know how to draw fireworks. I just I just tend to get paint and 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 <laughs> you know. I'm gonna try clip art. Maybe that'll give me some ideas. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I love that one. I love that version. That is just awesome. Oh, that one's good because it's got little stars on. That's what I need to do. I think I might just go like all over the page and then right over the top of it. That might be quite cool. So it's like marbles, they're just like little globes, aren't they? What's the best way to draw a marble? No, I don't want marbles.com. I want marbles. I don't know what marbles.com was, but it tried to take me to it. Okay, so we have a circle. Okay, so I want a pale blue. Ooh, I think I might go for like. Oh no, should I just do that? Should I see blue? Much for much less, really. I'm trying to smudge it so there's no actual like lines on it. The marbles always look kind of wispy, don't they? My son's driving my car and he couldn't find out how to open the um, petrol cap. <laughs> He's going to stop there, stop there, I'm going, shit, bloody well it is. When I was a kid, we used to live in Germany and um, the Germans really know how to do a firework display. <laughs> you know, you go out and it's, um, oh gosh to count the amount of times a, a banger would go off and all of that lot you know it never occurred to me about animals and that when I was a kid because it doesn't does it but oh god they have good fun that's the best I can do <laughs> I've got no idea how to make that look 3d that doesn't look anything like that picture a marble is a round ball with smoky stuff in it <laughs> Cheers is, is the word. I suppose that means he's putting fuel in the car. Something. Thing is, he's been using it for about a month and hasn't done so far. really really hard to do due to the lumpiness from the wet glue that I used on this and even having the card underneath didn't help so it's not bad I'm not confident with flourishing it's the whole that you've got to you know it's the whole lifting your hand off of the thing no it's like I've said to you guys before anybody can draw a straight line and anybody can provided you can Instead of going like this, lift your hand off of the paper and do that. And it's the same with flourishes, you know, I mean like the S there. I came down like that but I was already resting so I needed to, well I went the other way didn't I? But I didn't know I was going to do it until I was about here and then it was like, I've got to lift my hand off the paper. <laughs> But it worked, it, it was it was okay. 
<laughs> so there you go. Easy ones today and I'm crap. <laughs> that just that just does not look like a marble. Never mind. So there we go. <laughs> Thank you so so much for joining me today. Um I will be back on Tuesday. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to leave me a like. <laughs> Even if you just found me funny. You know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, thumbs up, please. It would be lovely. Any comments down below? Don't forget down below loves us kisses. And that's the first thing we check every morning is whether YouTube has left us kisses. And if you haven't, why haven't you? Shame on you. See you in Tuesday's edition of Today in My Boo Journal. Take these guys.